already y'all so this is gonna be a little bit of an LA adventure I'm just on my own here trying to figure out what to do in LA today and also trying not to get murdered in a city that I don't know my flight left Austin at 8 a.m. and I got in here at 9 a.m. because time zones are weird I tried to check into the hotel that didn't really work out because check-ins not till 2 so I'm just kind of wandering the city right now trying to find something to do and I actually just got to this one restaurant it's called Bottega Louie but it looks kind of fancy it's like right behind me so I'm not sure how that's gonna go but then I heard actually that Target's having a pretty good Lego sale right now there's one only eight minutes walking distance from here, so we're definitely gonna go there afterwards and see if we can find some good Lego deals. To be fair though, I don't know how much I wanna buy because I'm traveling for like the next three weeks and I don't feel like trying to take all that Lego home. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, I really need lunch, so let's head in. Just sat down. This place is way too fancy. OMG. But I am really excited to finally be in LA. I'm working on something super secret and fun with the Lego group here for the next two weeks. So I'm away from Ross and the dog, which kind of sucks. But I'm in LA and this is just incredible. Like I really can't wait to get started. We're starting work very soon and it's going to be very hectic, very crazy, but I am here for it. I'll tell you all more about it when I can. I'm looking at the menu and it says nudie here. I don't know what that means. Apparently it's like a ravioli. Who knew? Oh, this is so good. It looks so weird. All right, so I just left lunch and now I need to figure out where Target is. I haven't walked downtown in the longest time. I guess just like with shutdowns, there was no reason for me to be downtown anywhere. This is wild. So many people and cars and traffic. The buildings are all so tall. This is crazy. But this place smells really gross. But I'm on the wrong side of the street. I found a crosswalk. Yay. We're almost there. The cities are crazy, y'all. This is wild. Target. Escalators, escalators, escalators. Eels. But honestly, this place looks pretty fancy. All right, let's check out the Target. Grab a basket. I somehow already ended up in the closing area, but my suitcase is really full. I have no room for anything coming back. This is a bad idea. Actually, to be fair, I packed two extra suitcases, like little duffel bags within my checked bag. So then when I come home, I have extra suitcases. Pro tip. A reference to my Florida heritage. Yeah, I don't think I understand fashion anymore. Alrighty, now let's find the Lego. This is kind of embarrassing. I can't find it. Where's the Lego? Legos. Legos? Legos. This isn't Lego. Can you point me to the Lego aisle? I asked for directions. Apparently it's at the back corner of the store. He said it would be back around here. Oh wait, this is so weird. So the Lego aisle is just like the back wall of the store. I've never seen this before. This is so weird. So yeah, this is most of the Lego aisle, but then like there's this area, but most of it's obstructed by this giant pillar. The Lego sets back there are hiding. All right, so obviously there's a lot going on here. Let's just check out this Lego aisle or rather this like Lego hallway. Alrighty, so this is kind of the start of our Lego hallway here. We have all of the creator and Technic sets, like all of the 18 plus type of sets over here. They have a pretty good selection, not as much as our local Target, but it's still pretty good. Oh man, I remember this set here. I don't have it, but I remember looking at this for the first time, like what even is that? People corrected me. I forget what they said it was, but I'm sure one of these are probably descriptors. We've got a Lonely Santa's Visit and then a pretty decent selection of Ninjago, but then this one here, this is one that I've been talking about getting for a while. I don't think I'll get it today just because I am traveling and like there's no way to take this home but the pirate ship the creator three in one version it just looks so nice like I love how they did the sails here with like the pirate logo on there and all the details on the ship just look really nice I don't know what I would do with this in the city maybe just like put it in the ocean but I do really like this other version of it this would be kind of cool for like a captain hooks home or something his house i don't know where he lives and then right next to it we have the creator three in one castle we have two of this at home right now and we haven't built either i want to do both versions or i guess two of the three versions the main one that you see on the front of the box and then like a rapunzel's tower kind of thing i have two of them so maybe i could do both or just use the pieces for mocks i'm like trying to get more into mocks at this point and then this one here the lego city fire brigade this is kind of weird right so we have like the sardine factory which is kind of funny so like cats are involved sardines you know fish and cats kind of story checks out you know but then we have a missing cat poster down here but it's because he's saving the cat like he's saved so the missing poster is no longer needed it's really cute oh they have this one too so this lego city ice cream truck set i got this one as like my door prize kind of thing at brick world chicago they give anyone there who's like an exhibitor showing off mocks or just like has a full access pass a lego set so i chose this one ross chose the black panther flying set i forget what it's called but he chose a black panther one i 
really liked this one because the ice cream and the little dog. And then they also have a pretty good selection of different Lego City sets, but this one here, I would love to get this for Ross at some point. He loves all the different Lego animals and it'd be a really good starter pack for like a Lego zoo in the city. Like this giant elephant is really cute. He actually ordered five or six baby elephants off Bricks and Pieces recently, so we need to find something to do with those. And y'all, check this out, check this out. Okay, so there's tons of sales going on right now. All these tags, you see all those little like white tags. We'll get to that. First up, we have this Eternal set for, what is it? Almost half, yeah, about half off. That's wild. So yeah, 50% off. You don't find that every day. To be fair, I don't really want this set. We have it already. We got it at Costco. I don't think we got it for that cheap though, to be fair, but I just don't really care for it. I don't know what to do with it and we haven't built it yet. So it's not really on the top of our list. Let's see, moving on to our next sale. Another Eternal set, Story Checks Out. I don't think these sold very well. This one's marked down from 25 to 15. So that's a pretty good deal as well. If you've been wanting just to get the figures or if any of these are on your list still, this is a really good time to get them. I think every Target has these sales going on right now. Ooh, and, and this is kind of exciting. So it's not for this set here. This is very misleading, but if you find a Bowser's airship, it's marked down from 100 to 80, so you're saving 20% off, and that's actually my favorite LEGO Super Mario set. I really like that one. I don't see it in stock here right now, but yeah, definitely check that out if that's been on your list. Now's a good time. And then both starter kits are on sale, but you know, that's not new. And then some more Mario sets are also on sale. This one's actually pretty cool. We have this in our city as like a windmill on top of our little like Mario land. So out of all of them, this is probably my favorite. This one here was just kind of weird. I don't fully understand this set, but I do like collecting the characters. So I am happy we have it. <laughs> And then here we have some Minecraft sets, but nothing there that I really care too much for. But now let's finally talk about these sales. So there is so much here. You can see all of these different Target tags. So pretty much everything Lego Star Wars is on sale right now. That's really crazy. So first up we have the Mandalorian Forge. It was 30, marked down to 23. Here we have Triple on Tatooine, same kind of pricing, 30 down to 24. But then these Micro Fighters, this is a really good deal. So $10 marked down to eight. So it's still 20% off. I know it's only $2, but with Lego, any discount is appreciated. So I might actually pick some of these up this is a pretty good deal. Snow Trooper Battle Packs are on sale. Whenever Battle Packs are on sale, y'all go for it. That's perfect for army building. So yeah, definitely considering these as well. I like wish I wasn't on vacation right now. Otherwise I would probably be buying everything. Also this one here, this giant Falcon is on sale. Marked down from 160 to 130. So that's a really good deal y'all. $30 off of this thing. We don't actually have it, but it's on Ross's list. Like he would love to pick this up if there was ever a sale. So, you know. Maybe he'll grab this at home. We'll see. And then it's kind of weird seeing this one here. What gear is this from? I feel like it's kind of old. It's from 2019. How is this not retired yet? I thought this set retired. Well, huh, I guess it didn't, but here we have it marked down from 97 to 80. So that's a pretty good deal for this one. And then here we have another sale. This is the AT-AT -AT versus Tauntaun little micro fighters. They're so cute. Look at the little baby AT-AT. -AT. That is adorable. I don't really care to pick this one up, but it's 18 marked down to 16. So saving two bucks. Four plus X-Wing marked down from 20 to 16. Duel on Mandalore, marked down from 20 to 16. And then looking along here as well, we have a ton more sales. So this one is the Hoth ATST. I don't think we have this one. I do love that it comes with a little snowy Chewbacca. He's so cute. Like his little feet, the printing there is adorable. This one was 50, marked down to 40. So I feel like that's a pretty good deal. 50, I remember thinking that it was just way too much for this set, but for 40, I would go for it. And then the helmets and, you know, similar style helmets are on sale. 60 down to 48, 72 down to 56, and then 46 marked down to 40. So I've been watching Rebels recently and I love it, but now I'm kind of scared of Imperial probe droids just because they're everywhere and they're always like ruining things. So don't like that guy. But yeah, overall here, there's just so many sales. Oh wait, look at this one. The Mandalorian Starfighter is 48. I think this is what we actually paid for it at Costco. And I was hoping we could get some more of this at some point. Like, I just love the figures in here. These are such good figures. Like look at the detail on bo -Katan. Like that's incredible. Also our fish is named after bo -Katan, So like there is some sentimental value there. That's 100% true by the way. Definitely named our fish bo -Katan. All right, so now let's do our best to look at Friends World. There's this like giant pillar, but <laughs> let's just try. So the main street buildings here wait 41684 41 oh, okay i thought that this was on sale for like 80 and i was gonna call ross like right now to go to target and grab it because i love this set so much we actually have two of them in our lego city they're kind of like back to back but it looks good it doesn't really look mirrored so i definitely recommend this one i love it and it doesn't look like anything from the more recent waves of friends are on sale yet which you know makes sense but um this one's on sale and i believe like the vet one is on sale as well oh wait i spoke too soon so the canal houseboat is on sale from 80 marked down to 64 so that's a really good deal also this says like 41702 is just like 
marked wrong. I'm not telling you wrong info, don't worry. But then the Lego Friends Street Food Market, which is that one there, is marked down from 50 down to 40. So pretty good discounts here for Friends. These two were awesome sets. That's an awesome set. I wish it was on sale though. I would probably tell Ross to go get it, but yeah, these are great. And then just a bunch more stuff is on sale. This one's actually really cute. Oh wait, this one isn't on sale though. Never mind. Well, it's still cute. I want to have it in like my Lego Disney World as like one of those little street vendors selling ears or balloons or whatever. That'd be really cute. And you know, I've been having a lot of trouble finding the Muppets CMFs, but I think I found where they've been hiding this whole time. They have like 4,000 of them here. This is wild. Oh wait, even the Duplo sets are on sale. These are actually so cute. Little like bath time fun ones. One of them in one of the other bath time fun duplo sets has like a camera which is kind of weird since it's like a bath toy but anyways these are more normal you know, like you know watermelon cupcake and beach ball very cute oh wait they have so many more friend sets here look at these okay so i haven't had time to make any content on this yet but this is mia's wildlife rescue it is really adorable i love the facade to it i want to do something kind of related to animal kingdom maybe for disney world so stay tuned for that this one here is just like a chonky unicorn i don't really understand it but it's kind of funny and i should my lego levi's jean jacket i brought with me it has these two different like dots patches on them but i didn't bring any extras so i'm thinking about picking up like a little dots pack just to like replace any pieces that come off and these tiles are just really cute like have fun and stuff you can't even see it why can't i can't see any prints though where are the prints there's like maybe a happy face in there somewhere they're kind of cute but then this one here i haven't had time to build either i have so many sets i need to build you guys i've been shopping too much i need to start building but here we have olivia's space academy in the back here this is really cool i don't know what you call it though like please leave me a comment below but you can kind of spin this and it replicates the solar system which is super cool oh it's like a flamoti but like a floaty unicorn that's really cute but yeah it is really exciting seeing the full new wave of friends here so here we have andrea's theater school aka the muppets theater this is just so perfect for muppets i love the little chairs in front and just all of the different balconies and gold accents plus the background you can kind of switch it out to make different like displays i guess or like scenery for if you do want to actually play with the set but i love it like look how pretty that is it's perfect they don't have the friends roller disco r.i.p Oh wait, I just stumbled across like the thermos aisle. That is apparently a thing. I kind of need a water bottle. I'm gonna try to find one. This one's on brand. I didn't get a water bottle, but I did get some dots. I figured I should look on brand for whatever it is I'm working on with the Lego group. So yeah, definitely rocking the dots. Actually, now that I think about it, they might not let me. They might tell me to take them off, but I'll do my best. Hashtag dot your world, y'all. Can't believe I just spent 20 bucks on Lego dots. So because I walked to Target, I can't really do a car haul. Well, I guess I could in the Uber, but I'd feel really awkward about it. And the guy would probably be like, what is happening? So we're just going to do a crouching down outside Target kind of Lego haul. One of those days. I don't even know what that means actually. But first up, we got this little dots pack. I love the little tiles in it. And to be fair, I can't really see any tiles in it except for that fast one. So I don't really know what to expect from this, but I just thought it was kind of cute. And I do have two different patches on my Lego Levi's jacket. So I'm hoping to have each patch a little bit different. And these were like a lot more vibrant than the other ones I got. Next is this pink and purple Wonderland of, I think it's kind of holiday related because there's like that reindeer looking dude. I don't know what's happening here, but it is kind of cute. And it has these little charms as well. So I'm kind of excited to decorate my dots band as well as my Lego Levi's jacket. Again, I'm really hoping they let me wear either my, my Lego Levi's jacket, which I do doubt. I don't think they'll let me wear that, but at least like a dots bracelet, you know, just like bringing in some Emmasaurus. I think that'd be kind of fun. Y'all know how much I love dots. <laughs> and then the final one was this like really funky alien one. And there's some more charms under. You can see like the lightning bolt and the heart. This is just like a totally different color scheme. So I really liked it. And the aliens are just kind of like quirky and weird and I'm about it. I think it's neat. So yeah, I spent 20 bucks. Oh wait, one more thing. I got these two different dots bracelets because I didn't bring my dots bracelets. I am bad at remembering things last minute when I'm trying to pack. But yeah, so I got some new dots bracelets. I might give one to one of my friends or maybe someone I meet this week. So yeah, really excited to have these and decorate them. Like look how cute that is. That's adorable. So yeah, I spent 20 bucks on dots today. Uh, feels kind of weird, feels kind of silly, but you know, I think it was important. I think it was a good use of $20. So that's why I spent it. I am happy. Yay. Oh gosh, you guys, actually I need to run back into Target because I forgot hair gel. So I need to go buy some. It's like only two bucks though, no biggie. That gel I bought in Austin is $2. Here it's $5. LA is expensive. Whee, escalators. I actually made one more quick stop before getting an Uber back to the hotel because check-in's not for like 30 more minutes and I don't feel like waiting around there, honestly but I got some little body spray so that I don't stink. I'm away for like a month and I forgot perfume. 
Okay, you guys, I am so tired. Today's been such a long day. I was up at like 5.30 to catch my flight. I left at 8 a.m. and then I got in here at 9 a.m. Again, time zones are so weird. But I'm finally at my hotel after wandering around LA basically all day just like waiting to be able to check in. So let me give you guys like a little room tour because this place is pretty crazy. Here's the front door. Here's me. <laughs> and then over here, there's like a little area for my luggage, some clothes that I need to wear for this. But then the rest of the room is super weird, but it's also very hip and cool. So the sink is out here and the mirror, hello again. What's in here? Wow, it's a fridge. There's all these lights in here with labels, which is cool. I don't think this one works. Oh wait, <laughs> figured it out. But then check this out, the bed is so weird. It's like the whole half of the room. Like, I mean, this is the bed probably takes up a quarter of this entire space. Like this isn't a lot of space here, but the bed takes up most of it, it looks so cool. And then there's a TV. I asked the guy when I checked in, cause you can actually choose like how high up you are in the hotel and like what you're facing. And I was like, what's the best view? And apparently this is it. There's this stuff over here. I'm trying to figure out what is happening here. There's also a balloon animal. The Rice Krispie treats I brought from Texas. Here's the Gushers I brought from Texas and an empty Gushers wrapper that I just ate. But yeah, this place is pretty wild. I'm actually excited to like maybe film a few videos in here while I'm gone, just like sit down videos. Cause I mean, the lighting's already done for me. I was like, man, I'm not gonna have my lighting. There it is. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little LA vlog. I'd only been to LA once before. It was like five years ago and it was not in downtown. So this is a totally different experience than last time and I've been loving it. A lot of the sidewalks kind of smell like pee though, but besides that, it's been really great. Anyways, y'all, thank you everyone so much for watching. I'm excited to get started on my little dots bracelets. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time.